We are tackling a fundamental concept that often trips up even second-year engineering students, the critical evolution from the fire triangle to the fire tetrahedron, and why understanding this difference is the key to mastering advanced fire suppression. Most of us are taught the simple fire triangle in school, heat, fuel, and oxygen. And while this model is accurate for smoldering or surface fires like glowing charcoal, it fails to explain the violent, self-sustaining nature of flaming combustion, which is where the fourth element comes into play, the uninhibited chemical chain reaction. This addition transforms the flat 2D triangle into a 3D pyramid known as the fire tetrahedron. And for an engineer, this fourth side is the most important because it explains how fires propagate. When a fuel burns, it doesn't just get hot, it breaks down effectively into free radicals, highly reactive molecular fragments that react with oxygen to generate more heat, which breaks down more fuel, creating a runaway feedback loop that sustains the flame. This distinction is not just academic, it dictates exactly how we design suppression systems, because while water works by removing heat and foam, works by removing oxygen fuel separation, modern agents like ABC dry chemical powder and clean agents, like FM200 or Novec 1230, are specifically designed to attack the fourth side of the tetrahedron by chemically bonding with those free radicals and interrupting the chain reaction instantly, putting out the fire without necessarily cooling it or removing the oxygen. If you only understand the triangle, you will never understand why a halon extinguisher works or why a Class C fire is so dangerous. So as future safety engineers, you must visualize fire not as a static shape, but as a dynamic chemical reaction that must be broken. I hope this guide helps you understand the true science behind combustion and clears up the confusion between these two models. For more educational safety videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Safety Code. Stay safe and see you in the next one.